The gradient mesh really allows us to alter our fill colors and get some great highlighting and shading effects by applying a grid to our objects and controlling the color at each grid point. So I'm going to start by drawing a shape here on the page. I'm going to use the rectangle tool and I'll draw it up here in the middle. And I'm going to make sure I have that selected here. And I'm going to go up to the object menu and I'm going to come down and I'm going to look for create gradient mesh. I'll click on that and you'll see a dialog box pop up where I can specify exactly how many rows and columns I'd like to include. So if I want to see what it's going to look like on my shape, I can choose preview. And there I can see the grid that's going to get overlaid here. And I can change the numbers if I want to increase the rows and columns. And when I'm happy with it, I'm going to say OK. So that's fine. But what gradient mesh is going to allow me to do is change the colors at these gradient points. So I'm going to use my white arrow. And you can see, I'm just going to click off of this for a second and put my mouse over top. You can see I can click on these different points. And when I click on a point, I can go to my swatches panel. I can come over here and I can apply a swatch color. And you can see that it does it for just that point and it kind of fades out towards the other points. So this lets me be a lot more creative with my coloring. And I can come through and pick different colors for different sides. And I can even select multiple points. I can come over here and I can click and drag and grab this whole edge and color that whole edge a certain color. And you can even start to move these gradient points around. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to color it all green. And then I'm going to have some sort of variations on the green here. I have a lighter one here, Let's say a darker green here, and again a lighter one here. And using the white arrow, I'm just going to grab these mesh points, and I'm going to click and drag. You can see I can sort of bend them down, so I'm actually bending my square here. And I'll grab these ones, and I'll do the same thing. I'll bend these down like this. And you can see I start to get this almost kind of flag effect here, and I can use different colors to get the sort of highlight and shadow in here and can create some really interesting objects, especially if I'm using different shapes like circles. I'll draw a circle out here and I'll go to object, create gradient mesh, I'll say OK. I can start to add highlights and shadows in here so I can select different points. I can hold down shift and click on a couple different points to select them all. And you can see I can start adding in all these different highlights in here and shadows and I get this nice sort of 3D soft highlight effect. So there we have the gradient mesh and in the next video we're going to look at the paintbrush.